This is a big one for us guys. It is the dudes and belts dream match between Echo? Yep, that guy. Echo and, does it. And yeah, buddy. Atiba. So I'm gonna start with Marky Pins. I'm gonna work our way around. This is the first ever, by the way, dudes and belts dream match. So first off, see Zilla in the chat. We haven't seen Zilla in a while. What's up, big guy? How you doing? Um, second of all, thank you to Rocky Mountain Pro for putting our name on a match that we had sat and talked about many times. We sit here as fans. Before we did any, we were fans first, and we watched the guys, and we had seen, and we wanted to see more. We sit and we talk in the Skype calls off stream as well, and we're like, wouldn't it be cool if this guy versus that? And then, and then, the championship committee and people at Rocky Mountain Pro listened and gave us Atiba versus Echo. And then Echo and Atiba gave us a five lighthouse match at one of the biggest shows of the year. First show in front of a packed house. They tore the roof off the joint. Uh, from the, the beginning, the first five minutes of the back and forth stalemates between each other, the stare downs, I mean, the intensity was already, like, my, watching from the back, my heart was pounding, watching how good these two guys were telling this story in the middle of the ring of, I'm better. No, I'm better. No, I'm better. And it didn't matter that these guys hadn't had many run-ins with each other. It, those things didn't matter when they got in the ring. They left every bit, every ounce of who they are in that ring. Um, fast forward ahead to about three quarters of the way through that match, almost towards the end, you see Atiba hit a rolling chaos theory that everybody in the whole place, their heads just exploded with how flawlessly it was executed. He hits the, the dragon's landing. He, he pins Echo after one of the best back and forth matches that we've seen on Rocky Mountain programming, or that I've seen in just professional wrestling. In a very long time, man. And this is no sucking up. This is no nothing. Watch that match again. And if your heart is not pounding by the end of that match, wondering who's going to win this match, then check your heart to see if it's even still beating. Uh, this match was so flawless all the way through. I typed in the chat, these are the cleanest guys. Five lighthouses all day. We could watch it again. It would be five lighthouses tomorrow. It'd be five lighthouses the day after. This match was so good. This is a textbook. Hey, you want to see two guys that are unfamiliar with each other and go up and tear the place off, tear the roof off the joint? Watch Echo versus Atiba. Colorado Cup 2021. Also. This match was incredible. Um, this reminded me of one of those matches like Rey Mysterio and Eddie from Halloween Havoc in 97. Like it was one of those old school mid 90s cruiserweight matches that just tore the absolute roof off the building and this one did it i mean mass hole hit on all of the hot you know the points there the rolling chaos theory incredible that move in the height on the dragon's landing you know it looked like a video game it looked like you and your buddy playing two player and here comes the pain back in the day it was just so fast and just back and forth and it's one of those matches like i said thursday night about you know, a couple matches we saw. It's one of those matches where somebody's like, hey, what's this RMP stuff all about? Watch this. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's five lighthouses. Anything less is unacceptable. It's five. Damn straight. All right, Sunday. I mean, there's not much more I can say about this match than what you guys did. It was just, it, you know, it started out in that feeling out process. Let, let's figure out what, we, what they each wanted to kind of do and what, what it made sense for each of them. And then it, it turned into just, high intensity high, high you just everything high fast pace everything one right after another nobody giving up no everybody giving both guys giving it all they had i mean this is a five lighthouse match whether it's at fast performance this is a five lighthouse match if it's at beer start it's a five lighthouse match if it's a, at the pepsi center it's a five lighthouse match if it's at msg and it's a six lighthouse match for the tokyo dome i mean it's <laughs> <laughs> i knew you were gonna, your go initials are I knew you were gonna say it I knew you were going to say it. Uh, but yeah, it easily a uh, 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 five lighthouse match. Uh, I mean, dudes and belts dream match. I, I know we might be, you know, slightly biased to this as, as we had some, some say, not say, but we had some uh, uh, 
reason and what as why this match was put together um but this is why we wanted this match to get put together this is why we talked about this match as maki said we talk about it whether it's in the chat before we go live why we're live after we go live when we're talking in person when we see each other we talked about matches like that and i mean it it, it, lived, <laughs> it lived up i it lived up to it uh and and i th- you had to think there might have been a little bit of pressure on those two guys too, knowing it was a dream match, like that type of thing that they wanted to do, put they on th- that that high of a match, and then and they still, you know. And how about at the end, the the, uh, the respect shown by right. Ativa to Echo? Yes, right. yes. Yep. Yeah, and Echo was there was no Bud Belt Stealer in sight, and he, <laughs> you know, right. No, he came point. to the ring by himself, and he left by himself. Yeah, at that moment in time. So maybe the seeds of dissension were already being sown at that point in time. Maybe Echo saw through that glorious silver lining that, that you know, that coat of snake oil that Bud was selling. Maybe he saw through it. I think so, he did. these matches, especially what we just saw tonight, again, these matches are going to showcase talent and their ability to be able to tell a story without a build. Literally. And that was what it and, was. And this match, mm-hmm. and I will refer to AJ Styles, Finn Balor, over and over and over again, where I see yeah. these put-together yeah. matches, and I see these matches literally tell a story without a build. Period. End of story. That is exactly what happened at the Colorado Cup. That is exactly what happened with Echo versus Ativa. For fuck's sake... AEW, WWE, Impact, Ring of Honor, please, for fuck's sake, sign fucking Atiba. Seriously. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. That is a five lighthouse match all day long, and it proves that Echo, my friend, has one hell of a future in Rocky Mountain Pro and in this wrestling business. (laughs) 